It's the end of day 11 and there was only one guy here for a couple of hours, so he didn't get a ton done. There's really not a whole lot even to show you. I think he might have just been doing a lot of prep or something, but I'll show you what he's done so far. You've seen all of this before already, um, but over here today he started working on framing out this window. Um, this is the bathroom window, which will go right here and it'll be a casement that'll go out and we can get a nice breeze into our future bathroom and some lovely sunlight. Um, this is gonna get closed off. Um, the other thing that he did today was he worked on some of the flat fire blocking throughout the perimeter of the room, which will be on the exterior and interior walls. And fire blocking is designed to prevent fires from just engulfing the whole house. Um, the wood right there um, reduces oxygen to any potential fire, and then also just makes it, it slows, basically it just slows down any kind of fire. So it's a good thing to have, and it's just gonna continue all along the house or along this room. And yeah, hopefully more progress tomorrow. Since we've been talking about windows and doors, I wanted to show you this is a really great book that I've been consulting when thinking about the windows. And it has a lot of great information about like when to use lights and how to avoid different architectural errors, we'll say. Um, and it has so much info. And this is just the door section. There's columns and um, molding and chimneys and roof lines and eaves and dormers and so much good stuff. So if you are building a house or renovating a house, this is a really cool book to have. And then since I'm mentioning it, oopsies, this is also another really fun one, um, which is great for identifying houses and then recognizing the features that are in your particular house style and trying to keep within those features. Um, so swipe up for these and then some of my other favorite architectural books as well. It's the end of day 12 and there's really not a whole lot of progress to show you, I'm afraid. I was here for just a couple hours. It's pretty slow going over here. It's a little frustrating in a way, but um, I'm okay about it. Actually today on the blog, I talked about the slowness and kind of the progress that's been happening the last week. So if you have missed out on anything that's been going on, swipe up to check out that blog post, um, but I'll show you what we have today. It's a rainy gray day, so it's kind of dark in here, so I'll make it quick, but basically he just worked on making this temporary doorway here because this wall is gonna get, or this door, I'm sorry, is gonna get closed off probably tomorrow. So this wall is gonna come here and then it's gonna make this door inoperable. So this right here will be the future door. And yeah, that's about it. And it's raining, so I'm gonna call it a day and hopefully I'll have a better update for you tomorrow. There are two guys at the house today, so if progress isn't made by the end of today, I don't know what to tell you, but it's looking good. Ready to see what they did today? I am. This is my fake dummy door, and then this is the temporary door that used to be here, but we're only putting this here to be able to get in and have access. And so, here she is. A fake door that you only ever see from the outside. Um, I need to get some wood filler and fill this all in and then put um, hardware on so it looks like a real door, but it won't actually open. Let's check out the inside. Oh, and we have a wall. This is exciting progress. Um, yeah. So this is, hopefully you finally understand what I mean when I say like we have to close off that door because the wall literally goes straight into it. To get into the bathroom, I just weasel my way through the wall. And now I'm in the bathroom. Right now I'm in the shower. And so right now I'm standing in what will be the future shower. And then over here is going to be the toilet and then the vanity and the sink over here. And 
Um, this will be all drywalled off and then that's the window and then that's the door into our master. So this will become our master suite. So one day we'll be able to use that door instead of having to crawl through here. Um, yeah, so they've got the fire blocking going, it looks like throughout most of the room. And then they're gonna just have this temporary door until the French door comes. I'm excited. I'm not a super enthusiastic sounding person in my voice, but I'm pretty, pretty excited. I had intentions of cutting this door down and installing it like this myself, because that was just what I had planned on doing. But the guys just went ahead and did it, which is actually pretty great. So now I'm feeling left out and I want to go and fill this hole and paint this and strip all of this and finish it off a little bit nicer. And I know now isn't the time to be doing finishing work, but I still really have the itch to do it. Should I? Maybe I will. It's the end of, I think, day 14? I don't know, and I just realized I didn't give you an update, and I know you're just all on the edge of your seats, just waiting to see where a small piece of two by four got installed today. Um, and that is up in the ceiling. So they added these and these, um, I think just for extra support, which is always good. Um, they also, I can see they removed a little piece here so they can wedge in a little easier. Um, they adjusted this window. Yesterday I noticed that it was too high and so they added this two by four and then they also zhuzhed it over just a little bit. So that way the trim on the exterior all matches and the door and the window sh will be able to share the same trim piece. I'll show you. Okay, so my house has doors and windows and doors that each have around five and a half, six inch, depending on where you measure, trim casing around them. And so of course we wanna keep that. And the problem with over here was the window was gonna go up to about here and then it needed six inches of casing, but then it would be right on top of this. And so what we wanted to do was either move it over and have a gap like that, where this would be the trim, then a gap, then more trim, or zhuzh it over so that they could share the trim and then the window will come out from right here. So we decided to zhuzh it over and they'll share the trim and then the window will come out and then it'll have its own trim around the side. Stay tuned, it'll make sense one day. They also started some plumbing stuff today. Um, we had these odd gas lines that were here that I'm assuming powered like some wall heaters at some point. So this one remains and they removed another one and I'll show you what it looks like. And I filmed this, filmed yesterday's video in the dark, so I didn't notice, but one thing they did yesterday was they framed out the opening to go into the master. So this is gonna be a little hallway space with this being another doorway here, like a little hall through the closet into the master. And then today they've been focusing on some stuff in the bathroom. So the previous flooring that was here had two different heights and was kind of cattywampus and some of the joists were shimmed up and some of them were needing support and all sorts of different stuff. But because I'm particular and I want this wood flooring in the bedroom to be the same height as the tile in the bathroom, I really wanted them to make sure we can do that. So they're making some adjustments there. And then also they started framing out the shower. So that is, that's that. And also speaking of level floors, um, one of the guys came and worked yesterday on a Saturday because he just loves it. So I have a little bit of an update for you. It's probably boring, sorry. I mean, even I'm getting bored of these videos. Last we spoke, we were talking about the floor in the bathroom and you can see that we have an entirely new subfloor. So they worked on shimming up the joists and um, 
providing new supports and things with the intention of making all of this one level piece because it wasn't previously one level piece, it was two weird pieces. And then with the goal of being able to add um, hardy backer and then um, all the tile and things and making everything flush with the hardwoods in the master bedroom. So that's what they did. It's nice and steady. And this is the ledge to go into the shower. And we have a nice 36 inch wide shower in here. And yeah, plumbing will start soon. And I need to find all of my things to go in here. More tomorrow. The crew just got here and I completely forgot to empty out the den because they're gonna cut a hole in the wall. So I have to run really fast to do that. and good time. left so let's go see I love that he taped this all off for us, which is super nice, but I kind of wish I'd be able to walk through and get into the kitchen, which would be fun. Um, but I'll save that for another day. Um, this here is the wall that's going to get walled off right here to keep this a nice cozy room. And then we're going to move this exact door to right here. And then this is going to be a little vestibule with access into the kitchen and the master closet and then that will be access into the master. And then this is gonna be access into this room as well as the bathroom and the office and the living room and the dining room and the rest of the hallway. So it's gonna just be a nice pass through area and I'm excited. It's gonna be good. I'll show you the view from the other side. That's where we just were. So yeah, long way to go, but very excited with the progress. Now the fun begins. I get to clean up all the dust. important part is to make the TV accessible and the couch. It's the end of another day and he added the header up at the top there. This wasn't here yesterday. Um, he was only here for a couple hours and so not a whole lot to show but um, yeah. Now it hopefully makes a little bit more sense about where there's a door and where there's a wall going to be. And the whole reason we did this was to retain this opening here so we could see into the backyard all the way from the front of the house here.
So yeah, that's that.